Okay, so the first one is brick by brick, and that means a little bit of a time. So example, my father built a little tree house in the backyard brick by brick. But brick by brick can mean that you had a project for a long period of time and you're the one that's done everything about it. It's kind of like you know the expression one step at a time. It means you, you've completed a project one step at a time, you've done it brick by brick. So you can say, I built this business up brick by brick. It was everything that I did to help bring this business up. So you can talk about anything with regards to brick, uh, business or anything that you build and grow yourself. You can say, I've designed this garden brick by brick, I've done all of it. Or if you're involved in, I don't know, designing, designing a house, you could say, I designed it brick by brick. It's me, it's all my input, it's all my influence there. Groom, prepare or train someone for a particular purpose or activity. So for Mr. Kim is grooming his son to become the next CEO of the company. Yes, yeah, so it's someone, so when you, someone's been groomed, it's there, there's an idea of what position they're going to take. It can have a positive meaning or it can have a negative meaning. So like in newspaper, you could say like dirty old men would groom young children and stuff. It, 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 it can be used negatively, but also a lot of the time positively. So a soccer vice captain could be groomed to be captain of the soccer team. If there was a talented sports person, they could be groomed to be an Olympic sports person. It's something that they're getting prepared for a particular role or job. So you're in line for a promotion, someone could say you're being groomed to be promoted. If someone takes interest in progressing you, that's when you groom someone. Oust is to eject from a position or place. So if the chairman of the company was ousted after the scandal was reported. So if you oust someone, it means to remove. And generally, it means to forcibly remove. It's quite aggressive. So if you oust someone, if you oust someone, then it would be kind of hostile, it would be a negative effect. Mm -hmm. So a president could be ousted from power. That would mean he was removed forcibly. Um, you could oust someone from a restaurant if they're being rude or abusive and you get out. Yeah, so it's always, it tends to be a negative feeling to be removed. So it's not, it's, it generally, it, it generally means the person who's being removed is taken out against their wishes. That's ousting. Then we've got handpick which is select carefully with a particular purpose in mind. So example, the judges are asked to carefully handpick the most talented candidate to represent the country. That's the handpick. Handpick means to, is it yet to make it a big effort to, to choose something and do it yourself. If, if you were handpicked from a job, that would mean you were chosen among, by many different people, by a specific person. A similar expression would be cherry picking. That means you choose the best thing from something. So handpick normally means you've chosen something very good and high quality. So if you like, oh, how do you like the food? I handpicked it from the menu myself. I handpicked the ingredients. Then we've got heir apparent, a person whose succession to a position appears certain. For example, Samsung's heir apparent is none other than the son of the CEO. So it's somebody who is yeah, who's going to take over another job, another role. So for example, the Prince Charles is the heir apparent to the British throne when the Queen dies. Or say for example you had a captain of a soccer team and a vice captain. You could say the vice captain is heir apparent to be the captain if the captain is going to retire. So it's heir apparent. Then we've got beer moth. Something enormous in size or power. So for example, he might look small, but once in the boxing ring, he's a beer moth. 
it suggests, beer moth suggests it's quite intimidating work, something that's huge. So you could say like a skyscraper is a beer moth of a building, it's a really, really big building. Or you could say a massive tank is a beer moth, mm -hmm. or just a big person. Like someone who's really huge would be a beer moth. And it generally means it's quite an intimidating feeling to them. So you could say, yeah, it's a bit like, companies can be beer moths as well. So like Samsung, because you've got all of the chains, it would be beer moths. Just big, massive, imposing companies that take over everything. McDonald's would be a food beer moth or restaurant there. Okay. No words, thank you.